Um, at this point, we are going to announce the winners in the various categories, and I believe if I check my text messages, I'm not checking to stock prices or whatever. Um, let me see here. We are going to do them in this order, the Agile Trailblazers Award, followed by entrepreneurship and runner-ups and undergrad theoretical and experimental awards. Correct, Sandra? Good. Because usually at this point in the program is where we get, we haven't got the judging done and we're still working on it. And so I have to stand here and sort of look embarrassed and actually be embarrassed. But we're in great shape this year. So <laughs> let, us, let us begin. The winner of the Agile Trailblazers Innovation Award in the amount of $2,000 is Connor Roberts, EMSE. Um, we're going to move on then to entrepreneurship prizes, and I believe uh, the Office of Innovation and Entrepreneurship at GW came up this morning with one additional prize because we had some great, great contestants. And um, before you come up, Sandra, I have one or two extra things to say about the entrepreneurship prize. Um, it's $2,000, but the winner receives $1,000 uh, immediately and then must successfully complete a one-day lean startup workshop before receiving the additional 1,000. I like that idea, don't you? <laughs> the prize that makes you work harder. So the winner of 2017 Entrepreneurship Prize, the first in the amount of $2,000, is Scott Barnes from MAE Department. <laughs> And moving on, the winner for third 2017 Entrepreneurship Prize is Evan Kaufman, also of MAE. Thank you. And the next winner of Entrepreneurship Prize, the same amount, $2,000, the same restrictions, of course, uh, is Alina Klein-Schoda of BME. And another winner for the Entrepreneurship Prize is Ivan, I, is it Ivan or Ivan? Suarez Castellanos of BME. <laughs> yes. Names are not my strong point. <laughs> Thank you. 
the winner of the next entrepreneurship prize is Shui Sun of ECE. And the final winner of the 27th Entrepreneurship Prize is Zihan Yi, ECE. So the recipient of the 2017 Runner-Up Undergraduate Poster Award in the amount of a $1,000 grant for conference travel is MAE Kyle Choi, and the mentor was Longshen Lang. <clears throat> The recipient of 2017 Runner-Up Theoretical Poster Award in the form of a $1,000 conference student travel grant is from CEE Wanfei B and Anna Paras. And the mentor is Tan Shu Li. Please come down. <laughs> Recipient of the 2017 Runner-Up Theoretical Poster Award in the form of the same $1,000 conference student travel grant is Shanka Kulamani from MAE and Supervisors Tai Young Lee. <clears throat> Recipient of 2017 Runner-Up Experimental Poster Award in the form of a $1,000 conference student travel grant is from BME, Jacqueline Brennan and Safian Obaid. Supervisors Igor Efimov. Are you guys here? Yeah. <clears throat> Another is a recipient of the 2017 Runner-Up Experimental Poster Award in the form of a $1,000 travel grant is uh, from MAE Zitong Chen and Xiao Quan Cheng. Michael Kaida <laughs> is the supervising professor. A 
another uh, runner-up of 2017 Experimental Poster Award in the form of the $1,000 conference travel grant is uh, from BME, Cara Garrott, Edmund Corley, and Sarah kuzmiak Glancy, And the supervisor is Matthew Kay. <clears throat> Runner up again in the experimental poster award category in the form of a $1,000 conference student travel grant is from CEE, Mahmoud Al Hassan, and Supervisor Ramana Rafat. <clears throat> Also again, uh, in the Experimental Poster Award category, 2017 runner-up with a $1,000 conference student travel grant is from ECE. And I apologize in advance <laughs> for uh, my mispronunciation of the second name, I'm sure. Engine Kairak Iliolu. <laughs> Tarak al -Ghazawi. My apologies. Perfect. Yeah, no. <laughs> okay, we have two more awards uh, runners up in the Experimental Poster Award um, with $1,000 grant again from MAE, Margaret Nowicki, as Supervisor Michael Plesniak. <laughs> And the final winner in the category of experimental runner-up, experimental poster award with the same grant is from CE, Hong Chen Shen, and supervisor Dan, Dan Meng Shui. The winner of the 2017 Best Undergraduate Poster Award in the amount of $2,000 is from BME, Joseph Marbach, Sean Kimbrough, and Vivek Jain, Supervisor Matthew Kay. And the project is entitled, well, I don't think it's the exact title, but it's a synopsis of what the topic was, is Oxytocin Benefits Patients with Obstructive Sleep Apnea. The recipient of the third place in the best theoretical poster award category in the amount of $3,000 
is Nadis Bishbian from MAE. And to say a little bit about the work, um, it says, we are finding the precise description of a system, specifically attitude dynamics of a rigid body with observing its behavior, measurements of input and output of the system. The recipient of the second place best theoretical poster award in the amount of $4,000 is from ECE Jing Xin Wu and Mao Tong Xu. Suresh Subramanian is the supervisor. Are they here? <laughs> I didn't read what the work was about, did I? <laughs> I will now. A comprehensive resource allocation problem is studied in the elastic optical networks combined with wave banding techniques. You, you got it? <laughs> And the winner of the 2017 Best Theoretical Poster Award in the amount of $5,000 is from MAE Nima Mobadursani, Supervisor Kausik Saka. <laughs> I'm going to do this in the right order. So the aim of this project is to perforate the cell membrane using coated microbubbles. The microbubbles are excited by an acoustic wave and they collapse and implode. The collapse of the microbubbles rupture the cell membrane, temporarily causing drugs to reach the unhealthy tissue easily. That was fairly straightforward. <laughs> The recipient of the third place best experimental poster award in the amount of $3,000 is from BME Christopher Gloshat and Huey Fang, Supervisor Igor Efimov. <clears throat> And these guys are particularly cryptic because I have six words to describe the research. Novel capacitive electrode for cardiac model. Accurate? The recipient of the second placed best experimental poster award in the amount of $4,000 is from CEE, Qui, uh, Quinmin Zheng, and the supervisor is Dan Meng Shui. <laughs> While he's standing there, I'll read what the project is about. The project is aiming to develop a novel material as a catalyst which can utilize solar energy to remove organic pollutants from water to achieve sustainable water treatment. The 
the winner of the 2017 Best Experimental Poster Award in the amount of $5,000 is from CEE, Elizabeth Manning, and Supervisor Romana Rafat. And while Elizabeth is on the way down, let me read, the goal of this project is to increase the efficiency of one of the steps in wastewater treatment process in order to decrease resource consumption and increase reusable gas production through the process. So. That is the end of the prizes, but I want to end by just a ad-libbing a few, a few notes that if you've had a chance to wander around here today and look at these posters, I pretty much walked past every single one of them. I stopped at probably about 30 of them to have a few words with the, the person presenting it. It is really quite amazing what our students and what the faculty here are doing. And it's not just amazing the breadth, the scope of it, but I think the depth of it. Um, it's really, truly impressive. So students, you can be proud of your work. Faculty, I think you can be equally proud that you are advising these young people. I think the staff of the school can be proud of providing the infrastructure in which we thrive. And the sponsors, our alums, thank you for your support. Because one of my... Um, favorite phrases that I say ad nauseum to alums at meetings is great engineering schools are created not just by the faculty and students that are in them, but the people that came through them and are out in the workplace, they're successful and they want to give back and help build an even stronger school. So this is our orchestra and um, I'm very proud to be the conductor of the orchestra. Um, when I was 12 years old, I was the, um, we had music class at school and there were 42 kids in the class and we had an exam and I was 42 out of 42. And the teacher told me, you have no musical talent, David. <laughs> and I agreed with him, but I decided I wouldn't play an instrument, I'd come and conduct an orchestra. <laughs> and I love this orchestra, so thank you everybody. One final thing. Um, Manny mentioned him. Randy Graves couldn't be here today because he has the flu. Manny was the sort of founder, uh, not Manny, Randy was the founder of this in 2007. Every year he's contributed, but this year, unfortunately, he couldn't be here. So I'd like us just to have a round of applause for him, and then I'll tell him by email tonight, everybody applauded. <laughs> so thank you. And one final thanks, uh, Larry Liu is here somewhere, I saw him, where is he? He's over here, he created the app for this event, thank you Larry. And I invite everybody, we have a reception next door, so please stick around, Yeah, stick around for the reception. It's an opportunity to mingle, get to know people you don't normally talk to, that's what receptions are for. Don't stay in the little group of people you always talk to, tap someone on the shoulder, Say, I'm Bob Smith, or whoever you are, <laughs> and tell them what you do. Winners today, please stay behind because we're gonna take a group photograph. So don't go to the reception right away. So everybody else is free to leave. Thank you so much. <laughs>